Hey, what's up guys? So welcome to the Demon Hunter Unhallowed Essence set dungeon guide for Season 19, part of the Seasonal Journey and Conquest. So first off, let's go ahead and go over where the heck the set dungeon is. That's going to be in Act 2, which is Chaldeum, and you're going to go to the Howling Plateau. For all intents and purposes of being as thorough as possible, we'll go ahead and show off the full walkthrough here. And then let's go ahead and pop up the objectives. So first off, the objectives are going to be to hit 20 enemies with a single multi-shot six times, and then never drop below 50% discipline. In my build, you will never have to worry about the dropping below 50 discipline uh, percentage because you're never going to actually use discipline at all, and we'll go ahead and get into that when we get over the build uh, part of the video. And as far as the basic mastery, most masteries are just complete it within the time limit and complete both of the objectives and then eliminate all the monsters, but that's really not too specific to this one, but it's pretty easy. The only thing that is even a challenge at all is actually hitting the 20 monsters. It basically requires you to kind of group them up. So things that will make this build much easier for you. So first off, there's nothing that's very specific. Obviously you have to have all of the unhallowed essence uh, pieces and uh, with Yang's uh, bow, it makes things a little bit easier because it's gonna increase the damage of multi-shot, also giving you that resource cost reduction. But other than that, there's not really anything that's very specific uh, for the build. Uh, in the equipment category, but I'll go ahead and mouse over just in case any of you guys did want to see that really quick because sometimes it gets asked um, But nonetheless, there's nothing very specific in here uh, As far as the cube goes, there is something that's in important. This is the illusory boots because you need to group up those enemies and um, What you want to do is walk past some of the enemies and then shoot backwards uh, You'll see that once we go ahead and go into the gameplay But illusory boots are definitely a great option for the weapon. I'm not even running Dawn. Dawn is utilized with Vengeance But you don't actually want to equip Vengeance and I'll get into that once we go ahead and go over the build uh, But uh, as far as Ingyam goes, it just lets you proc your smokescreen as well as vault over and over again and like I mentioned before, that secondary uh, part of the objective, which is to never drop below 50% discipline, we're going to be ignoring that objective completely when we have either Ingyam or we meet the cooldown thresholds. There's actually a bunch of elites that you'll be able to eliminate, so you can keep it up for the most part. Uh, but a loser boots are the only thing that are going to make your life so much easier for this because it ignores unit collision. But um, most of you guys are probably already running Preparation Invigoration. If not, definitely equip this for the Unhallowed Essence set. This is going to make it so you increase your maximum discipline, which is essentially going to increase your damage. Uh, and then we have Smokescreen, Vanishing Powder, and Acrobatics with a Vault over here. This makes it so it's easier to go ahead and be able to uh, go around the map a lot faster. Vault also ignores unit collision, but loser boots also allows to ignore unit collision going through them. So I'm running acrobatics because it removes the discipline cost, but it adds six second cooldown. If you have a senior ring of the Zodiac uh, in your uh, cube or equipped, you could go ahead and just basically activate it again. And then with uh, smoke screen, we have banishing powder and that's gonna remove the discipline cost of smoke screen. So basically you rotate in between them with tactical advantage. So whenever you use vault, uh, Shadow Power Smoke Screen or Backflip with Evasive Fire, you gain 60% movement speed for two seconds. So basically, you use one, and then once that one goes off of cooldown, like you're not moving faster, you go ahead and pop the other one, and then the other one will be up. I, I have a lot of cooldown in my build. Most of you guys are probably also utilizing the Captain Crimson set, so utilize this and it'll make your life very easy because uh, it gives you additional cooldown. But if you don't meet the cooldown thresholds, uh, Ingyam can be another option, but again, it doesn't really matter. Choose whatever one that you uh, want to go ahead and uh, have in your weapon slot. So <clears throat> I mentioned before, I don't actually have Dawn and I actually specifically chose not to have a, uh, a skill. The reason why is I want something that does no damage and something that uh, can single target certain things and break objects so I can group up the enemies a little bit better. Um, one thing that can also help out is actually with the um, amulet of the uh, follower um, you can go ahead and equip them with an uh, S of Johan that pulls in a bunch of enemies which you'll see in the game plan that just kind of helps out the only difficult part again is to hit all those enemies but uh, I'm also in the, my passive slot running hot pursuit 
Uh, it's not anything too special, just increases our movement speed, so it lets us go a little bit faster. There's not anything that I would say is very specific to this, other than tactical advantage and hot pursuit are going to make your life much easier. Vanishing powder on smoke screen and uh, the acrobats on vault. Um, for multi-shot, I want to mention, do not run fire. The reason why you don't want to run fire is because you'll see that there's these rockets that shoot out, and sometimes when you're trying to group up multiple enemies, it can be a little bit of a task, so uh, don't go ahead and e equip this because uh, it's going to make your life a little bit harder. Go ahead and throw in whatever other one that you want. Uh, I would recommend either full broadside or uh, fire at will. Those are what I would consider the ideal choices. Uh, doesn't really matter what else you're running here. Um, other thing I wanted to mention is because you're going to try to group up the enemies, you want them to actually move a little bit faster. So uh, removing Bane of the Trap can be great and also removing Pain Enhancer in case your pet attacks or um, anything else would proc on damage. Uh, it will make it so you don't uh, actually eliminate th those enemies. Uh, there's not really like a gem suggestion. I just threw in uh, whatever ones that I had over there. In fact, this is not even, it's a rank zero gem. So like clearing most of these challenge risks, you don't really need to have high level gems or equipment. It's basically have the six piece set and go ahead and go in. But now that you guys know the build and what's important, let's go ahead and hop right into the gameplay. All right, so hopping right into the set dungeon over here. In the very beginning, uh, you want to try to kind of fish for a relatively large group in certain sections, basically the larger areas. Um, make sure you walk past a bunch of the enemies. You can see the S of Johan activating over there. Unfortunately, there was just not enough uh, of the enemies grouped up. And if there aren't enough, by all means, just go ahead and reset. So this is like the first like large room that you come to. Make sure you can get at least one of the objectives done. The uh, hit 20 enemies with a single multi shot. That's actually really key to go ahead and get with like the first like area. Um, make sure you, you do walk past the enemies again. If you see that there's not enough like in that instance right there, there wasn't going to be 20. So I just went ahead and eliminated them because for the mastery objective, you have to eliminate all of the monsters. And again, illusory boots make this so much easier. You can see I'm trying to break down some of these objects over here with just shooting just so it can try to uh, make it so the monsters can kind of go through uh, certain objects easier. You can see I'm just trying to show off that you can also shoot those uh, ballistas. Uh, that makes things a little bit easier. But just trying to group up the enemies, and that's why I didn't want to go ahead and have Bane of the Trap, is because it makes the enemies slower. Uh, but you can see I'm basically rotating in between the smoke screen and vault. Again, walking past the enemies is really what you want to do. And if you notice that there's not enough of a group, go ahead and just eliminate them. You can see again I'm trying to group them all up over here so I can go ahead and get that objective done. That's the only part that's difficult. Uh, other than that, uh, I've already completed the objective. If there's just a small amount left, make sure you clean them up so you don't have to uh, backtrack. Um, another thing that can be optional in the Kanai's Cube is if you want to run the Crumbs uh, buff belt that lets you move a little bit faster. You can see I'm just waiting for the enemies to kind of group up a little bit better. And then again, just activate multi-shot. Um, they give you sufficient amount of enemies to do it. I would say this is one of the easier challenge risks. Uh, it might take you guys a couple tries um, because sometimes the density just simply isn't there. You can see there's an elite over here and I'm walking past the elite so I can uh, go ahead and activate my Ingyam to keep it up as long as possible. But I already meet the cooldown thresholds. This is basically just in case someone doesn't have the amount of cooldown and they do happen to have Ingyam. And the reason why you don't want to have uh, Vengeance, why I just removed it completely, is uh, if you activate Vault, uh, what happens is it might eliminate some of the enemies uh, and you're using that to kind of go through the level a little bit faster. Once you complete the objectives, you can just spam multi-shot as long as you see a little skull over in the uh, upper right hand uh, of the minimap. You can see I'm trying to group more of them up. Even though I've completed the objective, it's kind of just for uh, all intents and purposes of trying to show you guys like the play style of it over here. Uh, maybe that would have been another 20 enemies, but again, it, it's kind of hard to determine. Uh, how many you're hitting because it doesn't show you after you complete the objectives but looking at the uh objective you can see how many monsters are left make sure you guys go ahead and check out some of the uh areas that are on the side and i'll go ahead and open up the mini map uh, after i go ahead and kind of uh, reveal more of it so you guys can get an idea kind of of what the entire map looks like so now that you guys have seen the entire map let's go ahead and go over the areas that are really good so uh where i'm clicking down that's a really good area uh, that's another really good area and that one can be okay, and then another like good area. Basically, all of the boxes are ideal. And then look for enemies over here, and like kind of on these little like very narrow areas. Sometimes there's an elite just kind of hiding over there, and that will let you proc your ingyam or just shoot over there because you have to kill every single enemy uh, to complete the objective over there. But 
Anyways, yeah, guys, that is how you complete the Season 19 Unhallowed Essence set dungeon for Demon Hunter. And don't worry if it takes you guys a couple tries. Uh, basically, within the first few, like, rooms, if you don't go ahead and get at least, like, three or four of the objective, I would just reset the set dungeon because sometimes you do get unlucky with density and that's just legitimately the part of set dungeons that's uh, kind of annoying, but you'll get it. This one is relatively easy if you guys go ahead and use my build. But anyways, hopefully this video helped you guys out, and if it did, drop a like on it. And if you are new to the channel here, would like to see more set dungeon guides, as well as a lot of other Diablo and other ARPG and other gaming content, hit subscribe, turn that bell, and you'll see more very soon. But thanks for tuning in, have a good one, and I'm signing out. Peace.